Hey guys, just a guy here with another episode of uh, City Skylines modded edition and interesting little section, busy little area. So we have fixed our city. Uh, we got the money going. It goes up and down, but we're generally in the positive. Uh, we went from like negatives to a million again. Our little factory district is sort of running. We only got three of our factories moving. We got the bakery, the toy factory, and the household. They can all more or less run. Uh, due to stupid AI, sometimes they have trouble keeping products all the time, but they're working. I changed one of these to a passenger train station and left the other one as a cargo instead of two cargoes. All these roads and everything seems to work despite how badly laid out they are. Everything is running. And then we know we got our other stuff. You know, we got to move some of our factories from over here. And traffic is good. Uh, we fixed our traffic issues. We're in the 70 to 80 mark. Mainly it was the oil industry over here that was a super problem. It's a little busy on this roundabout, but it's still more or less running with very little stopping. Um, a lot of that was fixed over here by slowing the roundabout down. Um, I slowed it to 40 on here. So there's more time for these trucks to pull out because they kept getting blocked off by people. And yeah, so we're all running. But what we're going to do today is possibly mess it all up. We are going to be using blimps, because I like blimps. And we have such a big city, it just seems like a crime to not do so. I think I have helicopters too, but we're going to go with blimps for now. Now the thing about blimps is they don't carry very much. They only carry 35 people and they move really, really slowly. And they're always really popular because they are the most direct route to get anywhere. So we're going to use two mods today to make that a little better. We have uh, advanced vehicle options oh. yeah advanced vehicle options it lets us change the speed and the capacity and all these other things about a car if we really wanted to and we can also type right up here in the search option and we can also limit what we want so we could change If we can find it, or we can just type it in here, right here, blimp, and we can make it. So it's normally 62 miles per hour. That's really, really slow. Um, let's type in ferry. So our normal ferry is 62, which is also slow. Our fast ferry is 625. I thought it was only supposed to be 200. Oh, well. So we can make our blimps go that same speed. So let's try 625. Um, and then we have capacity. Now it normally carries 35. I always thought that was kind of little for how big the thing is, you know? Um, now the thing is you want to match between realism and just putting 2,000 people here. Now for how slow this is, I'm thinking 100. It's not as good as the ferry, but it's still better than nothing. Um, acceleration, deceleration, all that we don't want to mess with. Um, I don't think we have the option to change the price in this particular mod. But we're going to try this. Right? And additionally, we have this other mod. Um, stops and stations. It lets you put the maximum capacity passengers that will wait at a transport line stop. Now, I do believe if they can't wait, they'll just get in a car and go so they don't look for a nearby solution. But this prevents like 4,000 people from waiting at a single stop, which happens a lot with helicopters and blimps. So what we're going to do is a bus line, we'll say, say 75. It's like a little bit more than one. Um, trolley bus we're not really using, Sam, Metro, I don't think we have a Metro either, really. Train, so 250, we're going to say 400 because they care about 250 each. Monorail, we don't have any ship. Uh, I don't know how much they actually carry, we'll say 200. Airplanes, say 300, so this is all kind of low, 40, which is really low for a cable car because they carry 40, I think. We'll say 80. We're going to go for about double of most of what they carry. Hot air balloons and then helicopters is 40. We'll say 60. That's three times the, the amount it normally carries. 
there we go, 80, whatever. So now if there's more than that, they won't be at the bus stop. So if we go to our stops, and we say like our bus line here that's really popular, there will no longer be 600 million people at one stop and then nothing at the rest. So we could possibly turn it down a little bit. Now this does penalize you a bit more with more possible traffic. But like for this one instance, there was always like one stop that had like thousands of people. So these people have like 50 there. If it gets too high, they'll just go somewhere else or take a car. The big one is the ferry lines. Because we did have a couple stops that were pretty popular. This one was always in the hundreds, but now it's not. So I think we can bump this down to five. There we go. So this one's at 200, so it's not going to overload too bad. I do wonder if these seem faster. I wonder if it's like the two mods conflicted with each other and added to each other. So let's try the, what's the ferry at? Ship. Okay. They only go up to, there is no ferry. So that's what they count. Okay. Since we have, let's say three, we'll say 400. So our ferries do carry more than normal. There we go. So what do we put down for blimp again? Hot air balloon, is that what they were? Bus, the vacuum, we say train, monorail, ship, airplane. I guess that is the blimp, so we'll say 200 because we have enough to carry 100, I guess. All right, so that's our lines. Now we're just gonna try to put these in and see how it works. Alright, so we used some anarchy to get that in there. I don't know how much that matters. Uh, but we have two lines going opposite directions. That may or may not work. So they don't pile up as much. Now we just have to put a blip stop. I do believe they all go to the same stop, so we'll see how that goes. The double lines may or may not prove to be... Pointless. See how this goes. So we got some blimps. They do carry 100 people, so that's working. And then... Somebody's already riding it, huh? Wow. Oh, we can also go to our policies. Turn back education boost. We forgot to turn that off. Um, I 
There's the blimp one that I can't remember what it is. Educational blimps. Okay, it's already on. I don't know what that does or how much it does. But yeah, so those blimps are moving at a decent pace. Still slower than some of the cars. Wow, there's quite a lot of people waiting there. And they all fit. So that's going well. I mean, these little mods, the capacity changes seem kind of cheaty to me, but there's really not much you can do. It's like you either use them or you can't use the blimps and stuff because they just get so piled up. Like they're just too popular. So let's see. Nobody's overfilled yet. Probably drop this down to four, maybe three, even. But see, like normally these these only carry thirty-five. These would just not be able to keep up at all. I mentioned they move so much lower. Okay, now this one, they're getting into the hundreds plus, so this one might be able to take five. And remember, it does cap at two hundred. So if there's two hundred people there, they won't wait again. You could probably do like 250 just so it's a little over two capacities, but once they unbunch, we'll really see how it works. But it does seem like these five are just keeping up. These are the popular ones by the forestry zone, right? Well, that's like the basic district, okay. I hate the whiteout thing, by the way. So yeah, this one keeps up at four or three. And this one, I could probably take down to four. I mean, this one is getting really popular in the old town area. I just like how they look. I mean, it just seems like the city's busy with flying things around it. Technically speaking, if you're just going to up the capacity, helicopters are faster, generally. But I just think blimps look a little cooler. And they just seem more realistic to be able to hold, you know, 100-some-odd people. Oh. 72 people. So it looks like it's busy. But see, that's why you have to up the capacity. They just stay landed so long. But we have no pileups, so we're doing good. Ooh, that one was absolutely filled. So... Hmm. Seems like it is keeping up under the 200. But this one will go back to 4. So yeah, we got our blimps. Those two mods work pretty well. We can up the speed, we can up the capacity, we can limit the number of people waiting at a stop so people aren't stranded and you're not stuck with like thousands of people unfortunately I don't know if they're smart enough to go to with another nearby public transit or will they just stay there and this hasn't bankrupted us yet although there is a bit of a blockade here now I don't know that's just because they're so bunched up the two directions do not seem to go well it seems like I would need two separate blimp lines which gets expensive or just do one big circle and stick with it luckily they don't despawn so that's not an issue and as they spread out it shouldn't be so much but they just they landed so long yeah see they have two little div spots so i try to connect it to the separate sides of each blimp but it didn't really make a difference. There's only one spot to land. I do love how they have to go higher on a cliff. Mostly it seems to be working out. So let's just follow this one.
Well, guys, so this is ironed out pretty well. The only one that's having a bit of an issue is this one right here. It's just too popular. We'll have to see if we can do five without it causing too much issue. But yeah, we got the blimps, and they work pretty well. Um, we could act up the capacity a little bit more. Maybe 150 wouldn't be too unreasonable. Be like, you know... So I mean, it's a pretty big box. You could think it's like it'd be a lot of seats in there. But, you know, I mean, how far do you want to go? How, I think 100's pretty fair. And, you know, we have the capacity to limit it capacity so there's not 4,000 people waiting at a bus stop. Or a air bus stop. Nice little circular uh, view of the city, too. I really did like it when it passed by my rather chaotic thing over here. I mean, that just looks so cool from the air. Ignoring the blue artifacting. Same with over here, where road anarchy and some other things have caused this. I tried to make sure there was nobody going through walls or anything, but it still looks really funky. But yeah, guys, this has been this episode. It turned out pretty well than I thought. Um, we, we got the blimps in there. Uh, we tried out these two new mods, and they both seem to work. No crashes. It is up to you, I guess, to decide how fair you want to up your capacity and speed. The loading and unloading times for... Oh, that red one did just disappear. I didn't think that... I didn't think I had despawning on. Did I accidentally click it on? Um, disabled, so no. Huh. Just... The blimp just vanished, though. I did not think that could happen with despawning off. Maybe it only affects cars and not blimps. That would be odd. Let's watch this one real quick. No. So it waited a little bit, but it did not despawn. But yeah, guys, this will be just a guy signing off. Catch you guys later.